The Rocky Mountain College football team just keeps finding ways to win. The Batland Bears have won three of their six games by a single possession, leading them to the cusp of a Frontier Conference title. But what's changed for a team that went 5-10 and ten over the previous two years? I mean, I hope our culture and, and, you know, the words we live by and we preach every day, but it's also the confidence in the players, I think, believing in the play calls from the coaches um, and then believing in each other. You know, doing your 111th, and I think that's a big part of it, of guys seeing if I do my job and everybody does their jobs, we're, we'll be fine. You know, last year we were losing a lot of the close games, and I think over the summer and over fall camp we got a lot closer as a team, and I think that trust all together as a team and trusting that everyone's going to do their job and be where they're supposed to be, and that's why we've been pulling out the close ones, I think. Even though Rocky sits atop the league standings with victories over prominent programs such as College of Idaho and Montana Western, the Bears still embrace the role of underdog. You know, you look on the Frontier Conference website and they, they say two teams are ranked in the top 25 and they list College of Idaho and it's a picture of them. Um, you know, I think it's a challenge to our guys that, you know, right now we're not getting conference players of the week. Um, you know, so it's out there that we're the underdog and we absolutely love it. Uh, you know, guys, teams are still, coaches, players, whoever, are still expecting us to, to lose and do that. And so uh, I think the guys have really bought into that and believed in that. And, and uh, you know, that's, they come to work hard every day and they have fun and they care about each other. So it's been, it's been a good ride. Rocky is half a yard from potentially being unbeaten as its lone loss to Montana Tech came down to a failed two-point conversion. That loss to Tech and the following week's narrow victory over Northern served as a bit of a wake-up call to the Bears. It's a playoff game. No matter if we're if you're us, Northern, Tech, Carroll, uh, it's, we're in the playoffs, and every game is a tough game. Um, and then against Northern, that we've got to prepare no matter who we're playing. So I think we've learned, we learned a lot from that loss. Um, I don't think it was our best game offensively, defensively, special teams wise. Um, so I'm really proud of our guys for adjusting, taking coaching. Uh, we were pretty tough on them after that game in the Northern game, uh, to be honest with you. And, and so our guys responded well, and I'm just really proud of them. Rocky can move one game closer to a conference title with a victory in Butte on Saturday, where kickoff is slated for 1 p.m. You know, Tech, they're, they're a really good team, and you know, we're, we're just trying to go one game at a time, and you know, this one would be big if we could get it. So Every loss, you know, you wish you could have a win in it, but that's in the past, and we're just looking forward to playing this game and hopefully getting a win this week. So.